Good morning everyone and welcome back to another plan with me. This is Misty with Happy Planning with Misty. This morning I am wanting to plan in my B6 Stology but I'm needing to pick out a kit. I have not picked out a kit so I just grabbed a bunch of my albums and we're going to see if we can find one. Um, We're going to flip through several and see if I find one that I like and unless I find one quick. But we started out with the August monthly. Um, now we've got September set up, October, November, and December. So all my months are set up and ready to go and these are single page sheets, full page sheets that are in my, um, are on my Etsy store, Bless Your Heart stickers and the UR, or your is spelt with the UR. So this is how it is, and I'll try to make sure it's linked below in the video. But all of 2025 is listed in there and ready to go. You can get it in B6 or A5. And then, let's see, where is our first week that we laid out? I was going to put, there it is. So this is where I used a DEK design. And this is the end of July into the first part of August. So, it looks like you have a week. And then you have a couple of pages. And then you have another week. So, if you've got anything, I guess, that you really don't have the room to put here on each day, you can break the days down. Or either if you do trackers, you've got tra uh, space to put trackers also. So, I need a kit for this next week, which will be that August the 5th is where it will start but how are you guys doing I hope you're doing good this is a sweet kawaii design um, sticker album um, but that don't always mean that's what I've got on the inside I've just got a bunch of her albums and I stick stuff anywhere and everywhere this looks like we've got a lot of DEK design kits in here so I doubt I use one of these since I just used one but it's a lot of cute stuff, a lot of winter stuff, so that will be good. Let's see here. Yeah, this is all. I wasn't sure what was in here, but I knew that we could look at some stuff together. And this is all DEK and Christmas and wintery. Okay, so I don't want that one. Let's try the next one. So let's look in here. Here is some actual sweet quiet design stuff. Y'all, a lot of this is D-Stash that I have found. Um, and we've got some sweet bean plans going on here. Let's see. So we could do a sweet bean plans. Um, I used to get the Pookie Bear Cuties, um, it was a subscription, it was like $15, and it's all functional boxes, and she would have it in different colorways, but I don't know if she still does this or not, but see, you would get bukus of boxes or swatches, you would get four weeks worth of headers, and if you didn't have enough boxes or whatever, or if all you wanted is functional stuff, um, she had you covered. But I don't know if she does that anymore. Um, let's see. I don't know if these are just... I think these are just PC parts of freebies and stuff that I've gotten from Tasia. So, I know that we could do a sweet bean plan. 
So let me see if I've done a sweet bean plan. This is a take care of yourself. Kit. Light a candle. Self care isn't selfish. Treat yourself. Journal. Um. So we could do that. It might be. It might be enough. Um. Let's see about this. So, Maddie has headed off to art class. Marshall's at a job. So, it's just us's. And, um, I'm going to try to do two or three, um, recordings and get them up through the week because we've got a hurricane coming in to Florida and Alabama and it is playing havoc on my head. So, I just took off my ice pack and decided I'd come in here. And let's see what we can get done today as far as putting these in. Okay, so then I'm going to need to write in... my dates and I need a permanent marker because this is paper vinyl paper like sweet kawaii design and so here is my marker and I think I said the fifth is that right yes the fifth so we've got five six seven eight nine 11 okay we got that down now let's see about some tweezers all right y'all let's see what we can get into here I'm gonna start with these headers and let's see three four five six seven so Alright, I'm going to turn this a little wonky, but I've got you zoomed in, so maybe, oh, turn loose. Maybe we can, um, keep it to where you can see good. So how are y'all doing? How's your Monday? Um, Mine, like I said, I've been up. It took me a while to go to sleep last night because yesterday I hurt. Um, but, you know, you just do what you got to do, don't you? There's so many that I know of that are fighting COVID right now. Thankfully, I haven't had to do that on top of these migraines. That would not be cool. Um, but I know there's sev several people around here that have had COVID. So I pray I don't get it. I've had it. I don't want it no more. Um, that was no fun. But we've got, I've already checked Maddie's schoolwork and I, um, got her some more work set up. And then Saturday, so I was doing good Friday and Saturday. Um, 
the weather wasn't crazy. There was no rain anywhere around. Um, I was feeling so good that y'all, I got out and cut grass. Um, I love cutting grass, but it has been weeks, like a couple of months, since I've been able to um, cut grass. Um, I think I'm going to go with this here, this um, washi, because I can use this washi about anywhere. Um, are a lot easier than I can use this self-care. And this is specifically for this uh, planner. So I think I'm going to go with this. And I'm not going to do both of them because to me it's going to be um, it's going to take away from me being able to list things for each day of the week and this has to be snipped because let's see um it's vinyl so i'm gonna get my slice tool oh yeah that'll work So let's see, Saturday morning was a doozy, y'all. So Friday I felt good, got up, cut grass. Saturday morning I got up and uh, my head was feeling tight, but I told Marshall he goes to his mom's in the summertime um, every Saturday morning because um, he goes over there to get the grass cut. And I told him when he got up, um, I had already been up since about 5, and I told him, I said, my head's feeling tight. I said, but why I feel better than I, you know, I have felt in um, several weeks. I have not been over to her house. Now, I have been to see her, but it hadn't been on the weekends. Because for some reason, that's when all the storms like to come around here is on the weekends. But, um... I told him, I said, I feel good enough. I think I'll, I'll ride with you over there this morning. He said, well, since you feel good enough to ride, he said, what about if we just go on to Waffle House and eat breakfast, and then we'll go on over to Mom's? I said, well, that sounds good to me. That sounds good. So that is what we ended up doing. And um, Let me think for just a minute here, y'all. Okay, so I need to do a this week. Okay, then I'm going to put this down because I let um, this sidebar or this Monday be um, somewhat of a sidebar, but also, um, like what's going to happen or what, yeah, sort of what's going to happen mixed with a sidebar. Um, put these two trackers down and then I've got this top three and super important. I'm going to see if I can get these in on this side also. And then I think it'll leave just enough for currently reading. And I don't know that I necessarily want blue against blue, so that is going to be rearranged there. And we'll put that there. Okay, so that's going to be my Monday with my to-dos. Okay, so then let's go back with these headers. 
Okay, so let me get back to my story. Um, make sure y'all can see. So, Maddie had, I had backed the car and the truck. Um, I had moved them so I could cut grass around the vehicles Friday. And I mouthed from the lawnmower for her to pull them back up. And she did. And Marshall never takes his keys out of his ignition in his truck. He's all time jumping in his truck and going. Now, mine hang on a key holder. I bring mine in. Um, but he don't ever do it. He's constantly on the go. So, when he, since me and him left at like 6.30 Saturday morning, Maddie was not awake, so he locked, you know, the door, of course, because um, she had no idea we were going anywhere, and we left, or we were going to leave, <laughs> And that's when he got in the truck and he said, who has moved my keys? They are nodding the ignition. I was like, I didn't do it. I said, but I'll tell you who did. I said, but I did ask her to move your truck, pull it back up in the yard. And he said, well, you don't have your keys. My keys are in there, so I'm going to have to wake her up. And I said, well, you're going to have to go to her bedroom window. He said, no, I won't neither. I said, I'll ring this doorbell. And between this doorbell and Feezy, the dog, she will be up. I was like, okay. I just sat in the truck because I didn't want to be a part of. Let's see. Let's start the week off with a cup of coffee slash tea. That's, that's a good way to start any week, any morning, actually. So we're going to go in with that. And then let's go in with this mint green. This taking a break is not being lazy. So we'll go with that. So anyway, he went to ringing the doorbell and Fizzy went nuts and between the two she come to the door. I couldn't see her, but he was able to get his keys. And so we got in the vehicle and left and got about, I don't know, four miles down the road, three miles down the road. And he was like, oh, I was supposed to grab so-and-so for mama and I for got it we gotta turn around <laughs> and I was like it's a good thing we decided we were gonna leave about um 6 30 in the morning or we would never get to town well in the meantime I think I'm gonna go with this one here for Friday in the meantime Maddie has become more awake of course even though we was hoping she would be able to go back to sleep because we hated we we had to wake her up, but I mean, had to do what we had to do. And so, I get a text, "Where are you?" And I'm like, "I'm in the truck with your daddy. We're headed to Granny Gail's to cut her grass." I said, "Why? You want to go?" "Yes, ma'am." And uh. Marshall said, well, you might as well go ahead and just ask her or let her know that we're not going straight there. We're going to Waffle House. See if she wants to go there, too, because Maggie is not one to go very much. All right, guys, we're going to try this again. I was in the middle of recording, and Maddie was headed to art class, and needed me and was calling in and I never know if it's 
um, she's broke down or if she's okay, especially when I'm in the middle of recording. So, it, I don't know what this video is going to be like, but if I can't get it together, we are planning out August the 5th through the 11th, and I've gone with the Sweet Bean Plan uh, kit. And this is what I've got laid down so far, and I let my Monday, um, not just be my Monday, but my tracker. So, um, my this week, so I've got a Monday through Sunday, I've got two trackers, something that's super important I need to do, a currently reading, and the top three things that I want to definitely get done for this week. So, now I came back with a header underneath here and I was fixing to lay down some functional boxes. Um, I think I was telling y'all about how our Saturday had gone um, when she started calling me. So let me see if I can pick up where I left off. We'll... Um, We'll see. She's a nervous wreck. Um, she don't go off often by herself. And she got in the car and didn't realize. I didn't drive the car yesterday. Well, me and her, neither one was in the car yesterday. Uh, yesterday was Sunday. But she had a bad sore throat. And um, I was dealing with a migraine. So Marshall went... Um, in the car but um and i know he did not think anything about it as far as how much gas um maddie had in there to be able to go to art class today and so um she's like mom i gotta stop and get gas and i'm not used to doing this and i'm like well um i'm right here we can do it together and you will survive but she's done it two or three times but a lot of the times I'm in the car sitting on the passenger side so if she's got a question she can just lean in and ask me well y'all know it's different when you're all by yourself so um, she was freaking out and then also the other thing was that I was going to connect to Saturday was she decided yes she wanted to go with us because um, a lot of times Maddie is not a she don't get out and go much she's welcome to we would love for her to but she can be just as happy at home um as out on the town. I mean, she is a very laid back girl. And so, um, Marshall said, just let her know that we're not going straight to Granny's. We're going to go um, eat because she might, you know, not want to go. And so, that's what I told her. I said, Maddie, we're not going straight there so are you sure you want to go with us yes ma'am i want to go I said all right we've got to come back to the house and get what your daddy forgot for granny so um be ready to go um when we get there so she was ready we all got in the car we went to waffle house and it was delicious and then we went um, to Gail's and I done dishes and Maddie um, washed her little Dotson that she's got and um, Marshall cut grass. So we got things done there at Miss Gail's and then um, we left there after we got through when we left there. And Marshall's like, I think I want a milkshake. And I said, well, that sounds good. And uh, Maddie didn't want one. She didn't feel like a milkshake. So we were like, okay, that's fine. So let's see, what color do I want here? I'm going to have blue there. So I think I might go back. 
purple here. And then maybe this mint green right here in between. So I told Maddie, um, Maddie said, oh, Mama, I just got a text from Mama, my mom, this go around. Um, she's at work. Well, the thing was is um, after leaving where we get the milkshake, we were actually going by where my mom works, which is at a local grocery store. And so she's retired from her regular job. So what is it with people? They can't wait till they get retired and then they get retired and they can't wait till they get back on the job. I don't know. But anywho, my mom is retired, but she decided she wanted to go back to work. So we were riding by where mama works. And I said, baby, you want to go in and tell her, hey, yes, ma'am, please. And while she was in there, um, I said, you need to go ahead and ask um, Mama if they've got, if they might be hiring. I said, because um, you can work with Mama. And, you know, it's, that would be great if you could get hired on there and you and Mama work together and it would be a cashier job and um, you know you have to be nice to your customers and and you can do that and so I think that would be good you need to get like she babysits and stuff um, around here for friends and but as far as having a job that you clock in and out of, she don't have that. And um, so she did. She got a, she asked them and they gave her an application. She brought it home well on her way to um, art class. She's going to pass that spot again. And um, I told her, I said, drop your application off as you're going by and she said okay and I was telling her that this morning and I looked over after I told her that and she's just like I could tell she was all different kinds of shades of colors and I said baby what is wrong are you ill is something wrong she said no mom I'm a nervous wreck I said what are you nervous about she said, I'm nervous that they're going to like me and hire me. I said, Maddie Claire, gosh, that's usually not what people are stressing over. I said, baby, you're going to have to just breathe. You're going to be working with Memo if they hire you. It can't get no better than that. The only other difference or the only other thing that could happen is if I get hired there and I ain't putting in no application. And um, I'm trying to find an extra box to sort of fill in right here that this goes this is from them and I need just maybe one more so that we need to scoop this up just a little bit can y'all see what I'm doing I'm going to scoop this one up just a little bit so I can give these other two room to breathe and if I can find one more box I might move that purple down this way so it's not so close to all that or either we'll swap it with that mint green up there so let's see if I've got one more of those boxes I'm not sure if I do or not Let me look in one more book. I've got boxes. I was just hoping I would have one that's by them just so it wouldn't look out of place. But anyway, I told her, I said, Maddie, snap out of it. You're going to be fine. You've got to. That one. will go, I think, 
I said, you're going to have to do this, baby. You'll be 18 in December. I know you don't want to grow up. I didn't want to grow up, but guess what? We got to grow up. I said, you want a car? I said, you talk about getting a car? No, she ain't been in no hurry, let me just tell you. But I said, baby, me and Daddy, we can get you the car. I said, um... But we've told you from the get-go, when it comes to getting the car, once we help you get the car, you're going to have to, um, let's see, what order can we put this so we ain't got, um, I said you're going to have to work for the gas that's going to go in it, and the insurance on it. I said, we're not dishing it out just free of charge, baby. Um, and I want to. I want to help her as much as I could. I can. But I'm not gonna... I don't want to ruin her and I don't want her to come up with the idea that you get things handed to you easy. I mean, it's easier for me and Marshall to provide for her because she is the only child. But, you know, life ain't that easy. And I'm not wanting her to think it's gonna, stuff ain't gonna always come easy. And I want her to appreciate a dollar, appreciate a buck. Um, you have to work for stuff. And, and, and I'm not saying she don't. I'm not trying to diss my child, but I am saying I want to use my head and not my heart when it comes to helping her in this area. But anyway, having said all that, she realized she had to stop by the gas station and she was by herself and she was already stressing about turning that uh, application in and she's you know, driving by herself, and it's not just back roads. She has to actually get on the interstate to get to where she's going, and uh, she was just, it was just a lot at one time. But anyway, I talked to her on the phone. We got the car gassed up, and so anyway, I don't know how these two videos are going to mesh, if I can get it to work, but this is how it all turned out, and um, I'm going to try to get a couple more videoed and then um, we'll check back in. But anyway, I hope y'all are having a good Monday and it's not as crazy as mine. Anyway, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.